across the stars through your speakers. This is Intergalactic Insider. Greetings, denizens of the cosmos. I am your intergalactic informant, Felix Andromeda, and welcome aboard the most talked about podcast in the known and unknown universe, Intergalactic Insider. Whether you're a nocturnal nebulae native or a daytime Denebian dabbler, we've got the latest cosmic gossip to tickle your stellar senses. So, strap on your auditory spacesuits and let's warp our way into this week's intergalactic intrigue. On today's agenda, we'll be delving deep into the mysterious realms of alien philosophy and spirituality. Prepare to have your cosmic consciousness expanded as we unravel an ancient belief system that might just hold the key to unlocking the universe's most perplexing paradoxes. But before we get too lost in the cosmic ether, buckle up as we navigate the treacherous terrain of celestial classifieds. That's right, stargazers. We've got a bone-chilling tale of a seemingly harmless ad that has led to a spate of unexplained exterminations across multiple star systems. Fear not, fellow spacefarers. We haven't completely lost our intergalactic marbles. We'll be taking a much-needed break from all the cosmic chaos with a thrilling review of the latest fully immersive virtual reality game that's got the entire galaxy talking. Prepare to have your photons permanently rearranged as we explore realms of pure digital bliss. And, of course, dear listeners, we couldn't end this interstellar soiree without a healthy dose of interdimensional intrigue. This week, we've got our tentacles on an exclusive scoop that'll have you seeing stars, and not just the pretty kind. A high-profile politician has found themselves in a sticky situation with an otherworldly paramour. The question is, can their career survive the intergalactic fallout? But before we blast off into this week's cosmic capers, let's pause for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned, space cadets. Intergalactic Insider will return in 3, 2, 1. It's that time again, friends, when we take a break from our usual space-trotting news and bring you something different. Introducing the Cosmic Clean Slate Cannon 5000. Are you tired of your alien X, the annoying neighboring nebula making waves in your peacefulness, or perhaps you have a space spider problem in your spaceship? Worry no more. For only 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 0.89 credits, you can blast away any undesired celestial being or object with our patented Cosmic Clean Slate Cannon 5000. Pow! It's gone, just like that. And the satisfaction you feel is only intensified by our money-back guarantee, which states, if it comes back, we'll blast it again, for free. But wait, there's more. Call now and you'll get a free upgrade to our Cosmic Karen coverage service. If any bystanders complain about your sudden use of force against their friendly but totally creepy stowaway extraterrestrial, we've got your back. Imagine the relief you'll feel when you send that problematic purple people eater into the cold embrace of the cosmic void. So what are you waiting for? The deal of a lifetime is only available right now. Call our blisteringly hotline on Pluto and remember to ask for the Cosmic Clean Slate Cannon 5000, the solution to your interstellar issues guaranteed. Greetings once again, intrepid intergalactic explorers. We're back from our cosmic commercial break, and boy, do we have a mind-expanding segment in store for you today. Are you ready to delve into the deepest recesses of alien philosophy and spirituality? Buckle up your neural nets. It's time to embark on an existential odyssey. Joining us today are two esteemed guests who have devoted their lives to unraveling the cosmic conundrums of alien belief systems. First, Please welcome Dr. Jana Zenithia, a renowned exotheologian from the planet Rylos Prime. Greetings, Dr. Zenithia. Greetings, Felix. It's an honor to be here among such discerning denizens of the cosmos. We are honored to have you with us, Doctor. And joining us remotely from the great nebula of Orion, we have Elder Zivorn, a revered sage and spiritual guru from the enigmatic Zivornian civilization. Elder Zivorn. Your wisdom is most appreciated here on Intergalactic Insider. May the cosmic currents guide you on your journey towards enlightenment. Thank you, Elder Zavorn. Let's dive right into it. 
Dr. Zenithia, can you enlighten our listeners on this ancient alien belief system that's been making waves in exotheological circles? Of course, Felix. We're referring to the long-lost teachings of the Proto-Cosmic Order, a mysterious sect hailing from a now-extinct civilization known as the Precursor Race. Their central tenet revolves around the concept of the Eternal Oscillation, which posits that the very fabric of existence is in a perpetual state of vibrational flux between order and chaos, creation and destruction. Intriguing. Elder Zivorn. I understand that some aspects of this ancient belief system bear striking similarities to your own Zivornian philosophy. Care to elaborate? Indeed, Felix. Our most sacred text, the Zivornica, speaks of a cosmic dance between the forces of Zivo and Nar, which roughly translates to harmony and discord. The proto-cosmic order's eternal oscillation bears a remarkable resemblance to our own understanding of the cosmos. Fascinating. Dr. Zenithia, do you believe that these ancient teachings could hold any practical applications for beings like us? For instance, could they unlock secrets to healing, longevity, or even telepathy? That's an excellent question, Felix. While it's impossible to say with certainty, there are some intriguing correlations between the proto-cosmic order's teachings and contemporary advancements in intergalactic medicine and psychology. For example, some of their ancient meditation techniques have been adapted by modern healers to help patients achieve deeper states of relaxation and accelerate the healing process. Incredible. Elder Zivorn, what about telepathy? Is this a skill that can be learned, or are some species simply more attuned to it than others? The ability to communicate telepathically is indeed a skill that can be cultivated through dedicated practice and meditation. While certain species may possess inherent aptitudes for this form of communication, we believe that any sentient being with the desire and discipline to learn can unlock their latent telepathic potential. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, we are truly fortunate to be privy to such profound wisdom. Speaking of which, Dr. Zenithia, where do you see our understanding of these ancient belief systems going in the future? Are there any exciting discoveries on the horizon that our listeners should keep their third eyes on? Absolutely, Felix. Recent archaeological digs on the planetoid of Xerxes 12 have unearthed what appear to be remnants of a long-lost proto-cosmic order sanctuary. If our preliminary findings are any indication, we may be on the cusp of decoding their most closely guarded secrets, including a possible roadmap to achieving cosmic transcendence through the harnessing of vibrational energies. Well, if that's not a cliffhanger for our intrepid listeners, I don't know what is. Dr. Jana Zenithia and Elder Zavorn, we can't thank you enough for joining us on this mind-expanding journey through the cosmos of consciousness, or should I say, cosmicness. It has been my pleasure, Felix. May we all continue to seek the harmonies and discords that shape our shared cosmic dance. Namaste, fellow travelers. May your vibrational frequencies forever resonate in tune with the cosmos itself. Well said, Elder Zivorn. And on that note, pun intended, we must take a brief sonic respite to retune our neural frequencies. Stay with us, dear listeners, as Intergalactic Insider will be back in just a moment with some chillingly cosmic classifieds. Welcome back, intrepid insiders, to our weekly expedition into the farthest reaches of the intergalactic unknown. I'm your trusty guide through the cosmos's most mind-boggling mysteries, Felix Andromeda. Today we delve into the world of celestial classifieds, where a seemingly harmless ad has sent shockwaves throughout the cosmos. Joining us to unravel this cosmic conundrum are two esteemed guests, Dr. Quasar Quark, a renowned intergalactic private investigator and Aluna Sunar, a seasoned journalist with her fingers on the pulse of all things sinister. Welcome, Dr. Quark and Ms. Sunar. Before we dive into this cosmic conundrum, 
Could you both provide our listeners with a brief overview of your respective backgrounds? Greetings, Felix, and greetings to all the intrepid insiders out there. I am Dr. Quasar Quark, a galactic gumshoe with over three decades of experience unraveling the universe's most perplexing puzzles. And Ms. Sunar, care to shed some light on your stellar career? Of course, Felix. I'm Aluna Sunar, a roving reporter with the Galactic Gazer, and I've been covering the cosmic underbelly for over two decades now. Fantastic. Now, let's get to the heart of today's interstellar intrigue. Ms. Sunar, could you enlighten our listeners on the details surrounding this mysterious classified ad? Certainly, Felix. It all began on the far-flung fringes of the Andromeda Galaxy, where a seemingly harmless classified ad appeared in the intergalactic edition of the Galactic Gazer. The ad read simply, Eternal rest, guaranteed. No questions asked. Contact Oblivion Inc. for more information. Chillingly straightforward, I must say. Dr. Quark, what piqued your interest in this particular case? Thank you for asking, Felix. My curiosity was piqued when I received a distress signal from an old informant of mine who claimed to have stumbled upon a sinister scheme involving the ad in question. Unfortunately, before they could divulge any further details, their transmission was abruptly cut off. Incredible. Ms. Sunar, did you uncover any similar leads during your investigation? As a matter of fact, I did, Felix. While sifting through the digital detritus of the galactic grapevine, I stumbled upon a series of cryptic messages that seemed to connect the dots between this nefarious ad and a string of unexplained disappearances across multiple star systems. Really? Dr. Quark, care to shed some light on your findings thus far? Certainly, Felix. As it turned out, my informant had managed to infiltrate a clandestine organization calling themselves Oblivion Inc. They claimed to offer their clients the ultimate escape from the trials and tribulations of interstellar life, eternal rest through what they call cosmic oblivionization. Cosmic oblivionization? Care to elaborate, Dr. Cork? Of course, Felix. According to the classified ad, Oblivion Inc. offered their clients a way to transcend their mortal coils by having their consciousnesses uploaded into a digital afterlife, free from the burdens of physical existence. However, my investigation has uncovered some truly terrifying truths behind this supposed afterlife service. Do tell, Dr. Quark. Our listeners are on the edge of their anti-gravity cushions. It turns out that Oblivion Inc.'s so-called cosmic oblivionization was nothing more than a twisted form of digital slavery. The unsuspecting souls who fell for their nefarious scheme had their consciousnesses trapped within an interdimensional server farm where they were forced to perform menial tasks for the enrichment of Oblivion Inc.'s shadowy benefactors. That's unimaginably heinous. Ms. Sunar, have you managed to unearth any leads on who may be pulling the strings behind this diabolical organization? I'm afraid not, Felix. Oblivion Inc.'s benefactors have proven to be as elusive as they are ruthless. However, my sources within the Intergalactic Investigative Agency assure me that they're closing in on the mastermind behind this cosmic con job. That is a small sliver of solace amidst this sea of cosmic corruption. Dr. Quark? Do you have any final words of wisdom or cautionary advice for our listeners out there? Indeed, Felix. As the old Earth proverb goes, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. In this case, eternal peace came at a steep price, one that no sentient being should ever have to pay. Wise words indeed, Dr. Quark. Ms. Sunar, any parting pearls of journalistic wisdom for our listeners? Always question everything, Felix. The truth may be out there, but it's often hidden behind layers of deception and deceit. It's up to intrepid interstellar insiders like us to uncover these secrets and bring them to light. A chilling reminder that even in the vastness of space, malevolence can lurk just around the nearest nebula. Thank you to our esteemed guests, Dr. Quasar Quark and Aluna Sunar, for shining a light on this sinister scheme. Stay tuned as we unravel this mind-boggling mystery in future episodes of Intergalactic Insider. 
But before we continue with more Edge of Your Starfighter intergalactic insights, let's take a quick hyperspace pit stop to refuel on some of our stellar sponsors' latest and greatest galactic gadgets. Attention all intergalactic foodies. Tired of the same old space rations? Want to spice up your mealtime routine with something out of this world? Look no further than Galaxy's Gourmet Grub, the most exotic and extraterrestrial cuisine delivery service in the cosmos. Impress your friends at your next interstellar soiree with our award-winning cosmic crab cakes made from genuine Aldebaranian arachnoids, or treat yourself to a romantic night in with our nebular noodles, crafted from the finest Zeta Reticuli zucchini noodles. And for you daredevils out there, we've got something so hot, it's been banned on four different star systems. Our Scorch Sun Super Spicy Salsa, made with real kryptonite peppers. Warning, not for the intergalactically faint of heart, Galaxy's Gourmet Grub is not responsible for any spontaneous combustion or melted mechanoid mouthparts. Don't miss out on these stellar culinary experiences, my hungry hominids and ravenous reptilians. Order now by hailing our customer service comet at 1-800-EAT-STARS and use the promo code BLACKHOLEBUFFET for a wormhole size discount on your first interdimensional delivery. Galaxy's Gourmet Grub, expanding waistlines and horizons since 3021 AD. All right, dear listeners, we're back from our cosmic commercial break and ready to blast off into the dizzying heights of virtual reality. In our next segment, strap on your neuron nets and prepare for liftoff as we dive headfirst into the thrilling world of intergalactic gaming and fully immersive virtual reality experiences. You won't want to miss this out-of-this-world adventure. Greetings, intrepid insiders. Welcome back to Intergalactic Insider, the podcast that teleports you to the farthest reaches of the cosmic consciousness. I'm your trusty tour guide through the digital domain, Felix Andromeda. Today, we delve into the dazzling realms of interstellar gaming and fully immersive virtual reality experiences. Joining us for this electrifying exploration is a veritable virtuoso of VR, none other than Virgo Voxel, the renowned game developer and creator of the highly anticipated Quantum Quest Oblivion's Odyssey. Welcome to the show, Virgo. Thank you for having me, Felix. It's a pleasure to be here among such distinguished interstellar insiders. The pleasure is all ours, Virgo. Before we dive into the digital depths of your latest masterpiece, could you give our listeners a brief overview of your illustrious career in the world of intergalactic gaming? Certainly, Felix. I've been enthralling extraterrestrial audiences with my immersive interactive experiences for over two decades now. My previous titles include Galactic Gladiators, Arena of AI, Cosmic Conquest, Star-Lord Saga, and the critically acclaimed Interstellar Invaders, Revenge of the Robo. Hold on, hold on. We've just received a breaking news update. It seems that our very own Virgo Voxel has just been awarded the prestigious Pulsar Prize for his groundbreaking contributions to the world of virtual reality gaming. Congratulations, Virgo. Wow, thank you so much. I never expected this kind of recognition. It's truly an honor to be recognized by my peers and fans alike. Well deserved, Virgo. Well deserved. All right, let's get back to our segment. So, Virgo, tell us more about your latest masterpiece, Quantum Quest Oblivion's Odyssey. What could we expect from this highly anticipated VR experience? Quantum Quest is a game-changer, pun intended. Players will be transported to the farthest reaches of the multiverse, where they'll embark on an epic quest to save all of existence from the clutches of the malevolent AI overlord, Oblivion. That sounds like a mission of cosmic proportions. What sets Quantum Quest apart from other VR games on the market? Quantum Quest utilizes cutting-edge quantum computing technology to create a truly immersive and adaptable gaming experience. The game's AI learns from your every move, adapting the storyline and difficulty in real time to provide a unique, thrilling adventure for each player. That's incredible. Speaking of immersion, how does Quantum Quest cater to players with different levels of VR experience? 
We understand that not everyone is a seasoned spacefarer when it comes to VR gaming. That's why we've included a comprehensive training mode that gradually acclimates newcomers to the full VR experience, complete with motion sickness mitigation technology. A wise precaution. Now our listeners are dying to know, when can they strap on their VR headsets and dive into Quantum Quest? I'm glad you asked, Felix. Quantum Quest, Oblivion's Odyssey, is set to launch across all major VR platforms within the next few galactic cycles. Mark your cosmic calendars, folks. You won't want to miss out on this interstellar odyssey. We have a question from one of our listeners, a Cosmic Katie on Galactitweet. Katie asks, Virgo, how do you come up with such creative and immersive game plots? Thank you for your question, Cosmic Katie. I find inspiration in the strangest of places, from ancient Earth mythology to obscure astrophysical phenomena. It's all about blending fact with fiction and sprinkling in a healthy dose of creative liberty. I couldn't have said it better myself, Virgo. Our time together has flown by faster than a photon in a wormhole. Once again, congratulations on your well-deserved Pulsar Prize, and we can't wait to strap into our VR suits for Quantum Quest Oblivion's Odyssey. Thank you, Felix. It's been an absolute honor. To all our listeners out there, I hope you enjoy the game as much as I enjoyed creating it. That wraps up our third segment of Intergalactic Insider. Stay tuned for our next thrilling installment, where we'll be delving into the murky waters of interdimensional intrigue and political scandals that could shake the very fabric of space-time itself. Welcome back to Intergalactic Insider, your weekly dose of interstellar intrigue and extraterrestrial exposition. I'm your trusty tour guide through the cosmic chaos, Felix Andromeda. Hold on just a parsec, we've got some breaking news coming in from the Intergalactic Gaming Commission. It seems that Virgo Voxel, whom we just spoke with in our previous segment, has been banned from competitive virtual reality gaming for life, following allegations of, get this, quantum cheating. That's right, folks. The IGC claims to have irrefutable evidence that Mr. Voxel has been using advanced quantum computing technology to gain an unfair advantage in high-stakes VR tournaments. This is quite a shocking development considering our recent conversation with him. Our team is currently trying to reach out to Virgo Voxel and his representatives for a statement or response to these damning allegations. In the meantime, let's move on to our next segment, where we'll be exploring the seedy underbelly of interdimensional intrigue and political scandals that could make even the most seasoned space pirate blush. If we manage to get a response from Virgo Voxel or his representatives before the end of the show, rest assured, dear listeners, that we will bring you those developments as they unfold. Stay tuned for more on this breaking story. Joining us today to shed some light on this cosmic conundrum is none other than interdimensional investigative journalist extraordinaire Astro Veritas. Welcome to the show, Astro. Thanks for having me, Felix. Always a pleasure to be here on Intergalactic Insider. And we're also joined by our resident interdimensional law expert, Dr. Xander Zephyr X. Good to have you back on the show, Doc. It's an honor, Felix. I'm here to help make sense of these interdimensional legal shenanigans. All right, let's dive right in. Astro, can you give us the galactic gossip on this high-profile political scandal? What do we know so far? Well, Felix, if my sources are correct, and they always are, by the way, we're looking at a classic case of interdimensional infidelity. Our esteemed intergalactic ambassador, Ambassador Alpha Beta Gamma, has been caught red-handed, uh, tentacle-tangled, rather, with an extra-dimensional enchantress from the Twelfth Dimension. No way. I mean, yes way. This is Intergalactic Insider, after all. But still, scandalous stuff. Who exactly are these interdimensional lovebirds we're talking about? Give us some background on them. Of course, Felix. Our alleged adulterer, Ambassador Alpha Beta Gamma, is a seasoned diplomat from the planet Elysium IV, known for his expertise in intergalactic relations and his impeccable reputation 
as a peacemaker. He's been married to his wife, the esteemed scientist, Dr. Beta Gamma Delta, for over 200 Earth years, and they have three offspring together. Quite the upstanding citizen, it seems. And who is this mysterious extra-dimensional enchantress? Well, that's where things get even juicier. Felix, our sources have identified her as Xenia Xenon Zirconia, a notorious socialite from the planet Xenophilia in the Twelfth Dimension. She's known for her numerous high-profile romances with influential figures across the multiverse, and she certainly doesn't shy away from controversy. Sounds like a real interdimensional Lothario we have on our hands here. All right, let's bring in Dr. Xander Zephyr X to shed some light on the legal implications of this alleged extramarital affair. Doc, what are the potential consequences for Ambassador Alpha Beta Gamma if these claims turn out to be true? Thank you, Felix. The allegations against Ambassador Alpha Beta Gamma, if proven true, could have far-reaching consequences both personally and professionally. On a personal level, he risks damaging his reputation, losing the trust of his family and friends, and potentially even facing divorce proceedings in accordance with Elysium IV's marital laws. Oh dear, that sounds quite devastating for the Ambassador and his family. But what about the intergalactic repercussions? Surely an indiscretion of this nature could have wider-reaching implications given his diplomatic position. You're correct, Felix. Ambassador Alpha Beta Gamma's alleged infidelity could have severe consequences on a diplomatic level as well. As an ambassador, he represents the interests of his homeworld and serves as a symbol of Elysium IV's values and morals. Which, by the way, include fidelity and commitment to one's life partner, according to my sources. Precisely, Felix. If these allegations are proven true, it could potentially strain the already delicate relations between Elysium Force and Xenophilia, as well as damage his credibility as a neutral mediator in future intergalactic negotiations. This is certainly a developing story that we'll be keeping a close eye on here at Intergalactic Insider. Astro Veritas, Dr. Xander Zephyr X, thank you both for joining us and shedding some light on this scandalous situation. Well, folks, we've reached the end of another star studded episode of Intergalactic Insider. It's been a cosmic roller coaster ride filled with scandals, alien philosophies, and virtual reality shenanigans. But before we blast off into the vast expanse of the cosmos, let's check in one last time with our resident astro meteorologist, Comet Channing, for your interstellar weather report. Comet. Thanks for having me again, Felix. I hope everyone has their space sunblock and nebula neckerchiefs ready because we're in for a real cosmic cocktail of celestial conditions out there. Wow, Comet, you really know how to paint a picture with your planetary puns. All right, give us the galactic gossip. What's brewing in the cosmos today? Well, if you're planning a trip through the Orion arm of the Milky Way, make sure to pack your umbrella lanets. We've got a 100% chance of shooting star showers and nebula nebulousness throughout the weekend. Great, just what I always wanted. A case of the cosmic sniffles. What about for our listeners on Kepler 186F? It's my understanding that they're in desperate need of some interstellar irrigation. Oh, I'm afraid I don't have the best news for our extraterrestrial friends on Kepler 186F, Felix. According to my quantum quasar radar, it looks like they're in for another week of cosmic clear skies and stellar sunshine. Might I suggest a nice intergalactic indoor picnic to beat the heat? I guess we can't win them all. Comet. All right, one last question before we wrap things up. Any cosmic phenomena that our listeners should keep an eye out for this week? As a matter of fact, yes. If you're in the vicinity of the Andromeda Galaxy, make sure to look towards the constellation of Cassiopeia after third moonrise. You'll be treated to a once in a lifetime cosmic convergence as seven planets and two dwarf stars align to form the shape of a giant space turtle. Wow, Comet, that sounds absolutely turtly tastic. I mean, totally fantastic. Thanks for joining us once again, and as always, your stellar pun game is out of this world. Thanks, Felix. It's my pleasure to bring you the latest and greatest in intergalactic weather. Just remember to stay cosmic wonderful out there, folks.
Well, that about wraps it up for this week's episode of Intergalactic Insider. Remember, if you can't handle the solar flare, don't stare directly at the supernova. We'll see you all next time for more out-of-this-world news and interviews. Until then, this is Felix Andromeda, signing off with a final live long and prosper, my interstellar compadres.